When you get knocked down, how quickly do you get back up again? Hey, I'm Cheryl Hunter, best-selling author and resilience expert. There's a lot of talk about grit these days. You could look at it, just like resilience, as your ability to get back up when you've been knocked down. But let's look at it in the real world. Let's say you got divorced. Do you never date again? You offered some idea at work in, in a big meeting and nobody bit on it. Do you forever hold your tongue and keep quiet? hoping that maybe someday it'll be different if, when. You know, we say, we give it a lot of talk to the fact that we, quote, learn from our past mistakes. But really, oftentimes what that means is we become dead inside. We become shut down and closed to anything that's happening now that may remind us of the past. So instead of that, why don't we focus on being resilient? How do you do that? Here's how. First, reframe. Consider that whatever got you off your game has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. Being resilient is possible and a heck of a lot easier if you can make that quick reframe shift. Number two, identify what it is that takes you out of the game. Now, what I mean is consider that there are predictable, historical, reliable, habitual things that when they happen, you get knocked down and it's hard for you to get back up again. So if you've identified those things in advance, when they start to happen, you can stop the action, catch it, and preempt it before it even gets you derailed. And finally, Develop mental toughness and choose to respond differently. Consider that being disempowered is actually a choice and has nothing to do with the circumstances around you. So then it would follow suit that being empowered is a choice. Choose to be empowered. I had a text argument misunderstanding with a dear friend of mine. We'd gotten bought off by being too busy. And instead of speaking to one another by phone, we just kept texting recently. And we were trying to discuss something that mattered. And the problem with text is tone is missing. You can't really tell what somebody actually means by a couple of short written words. She misunderstood something I said and was like, I don't even want to talk to you anymore. I want to hear from you. And it was like, what? I, I, we, you, you totally misunderstood me. Uh, but I was going into a super busy day and couldn't do anything about it. So I thought, all right, I can either choose to have this throw my day and be upset all day, or I can text her a little note right now, put it aside for now, declare it, you know, complete for the time being and get to it later. But in the meantime, be empowered. So with you as well, there are going to be times when you can handle all that's coming at you and you can deal with all the circumstances and times when you can't. For the times when you can't, choose to be empowered anyway. That's my charge to you. I would love to hear from you. Head over to CherylHunter.com where that conversation is taking place. And in the comments section below, let me know what are some of the things that have taken you out of the game in the past. And more importantly, what are you going to do about it now? While you're there, subscribe to my list to be kept on top of things I only send out to people via email. Do you like this video? Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and family, particularly anyone you know who has gotten knocked down and hasn't quite gotten it back together again and they don't quite feel like themselves yet. Follow me on social media. I would love to stay connected there as well. Thank you for being here. Have your life make a difference. feel like themselves yet. Sorry. Cut this out here, obviously. <laughs>